For example, I interviewed someone right before you who's on Austin Community College, same deal as you, working in retail just down the road, cash flowing community college and paying rent right now. All on our own, no help from the parents. Why can't you do that? Uh, hmm. I mean, do you I not want to work the through student loans? It's, hmm. I mean, she's probably more capable than I am, probably more financially responsible. Alex, um, I'm 22 years old and I was born here in Austin. Nice, and you live here currently? Yeah. Uh -huh. What do you do here for a living? Uh, I work retail right now, made well men's, and then I referee soccer. Okay, are you in college as well? 22 sometimes? Yeah, I I'm in CS right now. CS? Okay, yeah. nice. Uh, what do you study? Uh, ACC. ACC, how many years left do you have? Two, so I'll graduate August 2024. With what, an associate's degree? Yeah. In CS, okay, nice. Are you going to go for a year after that, or are you going right into the workforce? Uh, I'm going to try to go into the workforce. I have a few connections out here that basically tell me to apply when I'm good enough. So that's, that's awesome. That's uh, my current plan, yeah. If that's the case, if it's apply when good enough, why are you even going to community college? Why aren't you just like learning it through a boot camp that's much shorter? Uh, I've looked into the boot camps, and I actually know someone who attended a boot camp and now makes 85K out of yeah. that. but. It's about having the natural aptitude to want to code, I've been told to. And mm. to be honest, I like to be real with myself. Like, it, I'd rather finish out college and get my associates and have that paper saying that I went through that bullshit to get it, so. Are you yeah. enjoying it? I'm enjoying it. It's very humbling. Like, you think you're someone so smart or capable and then you get, <laughs> humbled by networking protocol yeah. <laughs> so I mean it's it's all a process man I enjoy it so so you're 22 years old but you're pretty early in this associate's degree program what did you do between high school graduation and 22 yeah so since 2014 I had been refereeing soccer that that took up the majority of my teenage early adult years uh, I had gone into the USL Championships in 2020 for my professional debut, and uh, my dad does it uh, like full time. He's going to the really? World Cup and winner. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. awesome. If you want to look him up, his name is Ishmael Elfath. He's a really, really great referee and even better father. So I mean, that's awesome. That's, yeah, look him up. Look him up. That's my inspiration. Uh, so yeah, between then, uh, 2020, and now. Um, Went back to college because the moment I get injured uh, permanently, like that income's gone. So oh. it's uh, really about having more skills than refereeing soccer. So it's, it's essentially backup security then? Yeah, exactly. I mean, one of my big goals in life is to be able to provide one day. So it, the economy's really sh so <laughs> really just figuring things out, you know? Okay, yeah. sure. Why CS? Is it for the money? Is it because you actually enjoy it? Uh, I have a, my dad does it too, and uh, I, I actually do enjoy it. You feel satisfaction, like it's, it's like learning math in a way. Like once you actually understand what's going on, it's easier to move on to the next step. And I would definitely say the hardest part is starting, but I actually do enjoy it. Good, that's I, awesome. My original major was econ, so. <laughs> It's much better than that, for sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What? Well, okay. So tell me about the pay in career and the uh, soccer officiating. What What were you bringing in on an annual basis with this? Uh, so it goes. We're independent contractors when it comes to youth level games or anything. Uh, even at the professional level, whenever I was doing USL, there would be a game fee that you would get paid. So. For example, AR position, which is this guy holding the flag, uh, I would be paid 650 bucks a game, uh, but that's much higher than doing four youth games on a weekend, because typically it's like 30 to 75 dollars if you're doing youth, low-level adult games, stuff like that. And how often would you be able to do these games on a monthly basis? Uh, every weekend, so Saturday, Sunday. How many a day? Uh, four. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so that's pretty you, sweet. You'd definitely be uh, training a lot during the week to make sure you can do that because it, it, it could be a lot of work. And right now you're doing that part-time and some retail part-time in order to pay for college? Uh, yeah, I'm taking on student loans right now. Uh, I pay my own rent, so. Why are you doing student loans? Uh, I don't know, can't afford college otherwise. So you weren't saving up in your, what was it, four years between graduation and community college? Nope, I didn't mm. save. Why weren't you saving? Uh, financially irresponsible. <laughs> yeah. Classic, classic, and that's honestly normal for most people in the United States, so I don't think you're being judged for that. But how, how, many, how much in student loans are you taking out? Uh, so I started my econ degree journey actually back in 2019, and then once I had gotten called up to the pros in 2020, I dropped. So I was a year mm. in, and I had taken five grand in uh, student loans. Okay. And nowadays, or th recently, I took out 2,700. So. 2,700. How much are you gonna have to take out to finish this thing? Uh, assuming that I don't have it saved for next semester, same deal, because I have in-state tuition now, but yeah, I mean, it's another two years of it, so. So you're going to have what? What are, what are we getting there in total? $20,000 after everything almost? Probably, Close yeah. Close to? Yeah. She'll be making good money, which is awesome. What's, what's your plan to repay this off? Are you going to um, continue the financial irresponsibility, or are we buckling down to beat them <laughs> into the ground? Well, I mean, I'm hoping by then I'll be in a plan to be married and have plans to settle down with somebody. So I don't plan on being financially irresponsible forever. I would say I'm definitely a better now than I was a few years ago, but still a lot to learn. So what's your plan to pay him off? Uh, just gonna pay them off once I get a actual high paying job. And are these federal student loans or are any of them private? No, they're federal. Okay, yeah. so that's good. The, the income based repayment cha uh, plans, they're yeah. changing. Yeah. Uh, depends if the Department of Education enforces them if another administration comes, but yeah. if so, 5% of your discretionary income for 10 years, and I believe you'll have $12,000 forgiven if you have under that, and you should easily be able to pay off 8,000 of the 20,000 within 12 years. Yeah. Not saying that's the best way to do it, but it won't occur interest during that as well, because if that new plan takes an effect, you already have $5,000. When did you take out this 2,700? This was recent. This was uh, literally couple weeks ago now. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that then, but the $5,000 is probably going to be forgiven, right? Uh, right now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, $10,000 is on the table to be wiped out from federal student yes, loans. Yes, but you had 5000 that you took out before, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then you probably you won't qualify for the rest of them because it's probably you've taken them too recently, but you had 5000 previously, correct? Yeah, 5000 I took out previously. I mean, that's still pretty cool. Then you'll just end up with 15000 I mean, that's still awesome. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather not end up with fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, but I, I've I've heard way worse stories of people being like a hundred or high sure. high fifties or something. And honestly, it's could be a lot worse. It's what I try to put myself. You know, a lot of things could be a lot worse. Doesn't mean we want to do bad things because it can be worse, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, but it's a way to keep yourself keep your head above the water. Why don't, think you, why don't you think you can cash flow community college? For example, I interviewed someone right before you who's on Austin Community College, same deal as you, working in retail just down the road, cash flowing community college and paying rent right now. All on our own, no help from the parents. Why can't you do that? Uh, hmm. I mean, do you I not want to work the- through student loans, it's, I mean, she's probably more capable than I am, probably more financially responsible. Uh, well, not capable. Come on, you can be capable. I mean, No, no, yeah, capable, but she's doing a better job. Oh, yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, how many hours of work do you, do you work right now? Uh, right now I'm doing 35-ish 
Well, that's not cool, full time, that's good. but uh, I can't do full time. No, I mean that's a good amount of hours because you're also doing a full time worth of worth of classes. What are you, twelve credit hours or higher? I'm taking four classes. Two of them started the twenty second, and then my other two start September nineteenth. How many credit hours is that going to be, though? Four, eight. Are they three 18, each? Eighteen total. Oh, okay. So that's definitely full time. Yeah. So full time and then almost full time work. So you are doing a lot. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. hoping refereeing, I'm actually only going to start working two days a week at the retail because okay. I've been out of soccer for a while, but now I'll actually be, that'll be my main job now, so. Okay. Yeah. And that pays and, more? Oh, yeah, definitely. Way more. Oh, that's awesome. But, okay. Yeah. As much as you can cash flow for college, dude, trust me, worth it in the end. I'm yeah. saying that as someone who has student loans, so it almost sounds hypocritical on this side, but I would just have much rather worked during that time. And you since so? you're in a place of starting college at a slightly older age, I mean, you're not even close to old, but, you know, then most people starting at 18, uh, you have, like, a chance yeah. to cash flow. And that'd be so cool, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it would be. What are your financial goals in life? Uh, stay in Austin. Literally. That's yeah. your financial I, I, goal? I want to make enough money to stay in Austin. What's your rent right now? Uh, 950. 950? You have a roommate? Nope. Okay. Are you not willing to have a roommate? Uh, my girlfriend might move in soon, but we'll see. Yeah, and girlfriends break up with people. Yeah, yeah, I know that. Yeah, and boyfriends break up with people. It's not yeah, you know, yeah, just yeah, one, yeah. But, yeah. but still, I guess that's not necessarily 100% reliable. And her 50, that's still good for Austin. Do you have any vehicle debt? Vehicle debt? No. Yeah. Credit card debt? Uh, yes. How I much? 400 bucks. That's not bad. Yeah, just to cover my pet's funeral expenses. Oh, I'm sorry. How long ago was that? That was two months ago now. Two months ago, yeah, that sucks. Yeah, I had four ferrets and I have three. So you're definitely making $900 a month, at least, the minimum, working mm -hmm. almost full time at your retail job. What are you getting? 15 bucks an hour there? 14 30 Okay, so you're certainly making that. Where does the rest of this money go? That's not rent. <laughs> Uh, food. Uh, Eating out? Food? Yeah, sometimes. And then recreational stuff. Uh, yeah, clothes. Do you budget? Huh? Do you budget? Uh, not as well as I should, no. Okay. And are you willing to sacrifice and cut back on those things in order to pay off your credit card? Oh, yeah, for sure, yeah. And then in order to cash flow college as much as you can? Yep. You're willing to do that? Yeah. Okay. Are you going to do that? I am. Yeah, that's my plan. Okay, sweet. Any other financial goals besides just staying in Austin? Besides that, uh, like I said, being able to provide for a family one day, that'd be really, really nice to do, especially since our generation is the least likely to be able to own a house. But, yeah. yeah. Let them know what you think about their financial situation in the comments below. And if you want to join my private Discord, which really helps grow this channel, feel free to check out that link in the description. A special shout out to my four cups of coffee supporters, Theo Martinez, Mark, Josh Bennett, Clayton006, Tyler Chong, Drew Smith, Timothy Williams, Sam I Am, Jason Springs, Nicholas Dowley, Tom L. And a special shout out to my eight cups of coffee supporters, Joseph W. Strickland, Anthony, an anonymous supporter, and Sam V03. You guys are making the dream come possible. Subscribe and stick around for more. Thanks.